Police in Barrow began an investigation, finding evidence on her phone that suggested she was being sexually exploited and trafficked by a group of men across the north of England. At times, Eleanor Williams appeared to be a reluctant witness, but over the course of their investigation, police began to suspect that she was lying about the abuse and arrested her. I'd been up in Barrow covering a alleged grooming scandal. A young white girl had said she'd been raped by lots of Muslim men, yeah? I'd gone up there for a week trying to investigate it as a journalist. It actually turns out, in my eyes, the girl's lying. In your eyes? Yeah. Okay. Um, the girl's lying. There's a court case coming out soon. Um, Which is, once again, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. This is just not him being biased like you're actually saying. There was no one... She's still got a scar on her throat. It's right across there. On top of that, she's had a breast cut. She's got two marks across there. Her ear's been cut, her finger's been cut. She's got rats carved across her stomach. And she opened the door and her face was, oh, it was, she had two black eyes. It was so swollen, I hardly recognized her. And she had a cut across her neck. She was just black and blue all over. to great lengths to make people believe that it was true, even buying a hammer to inflict those wounds upon herself. But in court, Ellie Williams said, I didn't buy a hammer to hurt myself. I'm not a psychopath. The jury at Preston Crown Court found that Eleanor Williams lied and was guilty of perverting the course of justice. I've now spent several days in Barrow. You've all seen the story of Ellie Williams go viral across our country, across the world. And I come to Barrow to try and get the facts. And I think that if you're making your judgment, it's important that you're presented with every fact in this case. I've now met two men and spoke with two men and their families. Both of whom you may have seen the Northwest media reported that Ellie Williams faces charges of five fake false rape allegations against men. Now you may have presumed like I did, that was against the Muslim grooming gang that she was accusing of raping her. I've met two pet families, two people, neither of them Muslim, one of these rape claims dating back to when she was at school. One of the gentlemen, again, she was beaten black and blue, but it was a false rape claim in the sense that he's been cleared and the police are now prosecuting her. And there are victims, and I'm not, I'm not saying Ellie Williams is not a victim, but these men whose lives have been destroyed, both of them suffered immensely with mental health problems since. One of them trying to commit suicide just months ago. They deserve justice too. And that's not to deny that there's a grooming gang in this town. Because I first come here a year ago on my MEP campaign, I've sat in houses in Barrow with mums and dads who have broke down crying about what's happened to their daughters. I just think it's important that, and I think it's also dangerous. My whole career has been spent trying to get victims of grooming gangs justice. And what I see a risk of here, and it's a risk that this can be used to silence the debate on grooming. If Ellie has previously lied, if it's proven she's previously lied, if these things are proven in court, it could be that detrimental to the future of grooming victims feeling capable of coming forward and being believed. That's why I think you need to be presented with the facts. Maggie, many, I found it hard in Barrow to get people to talk to me because Maggie Oliver, one of them, had, had told people not to and to stay away from me. Now, I'm, I've seen proof now that Maggie was made aware of these men who were falsely accused of rape, young men, 18, 19, who are falsely accused of rape. 
I've seen the back and forth messages on the 21st of May. But Maggie hasn't made you aware of that. Ellie's family haven't made you aware of this. So if you're building up momentum, if you're donating for a legal fight, I think it's important that you know the whole case. And that's all I'm here to present you with, is what I found in Barrow. And I'm not, and that's what not, and I haven't found that Ellie hasn't been groomed and hasn't been raped. I haven't found that. But what I've found is that on this issue, where you could literally light a match and this town's ready to explode, everyone needs to be presented with the facts. And I think it could be that damaging that people actually have to wait and let the court cases play out before screaming and demanding justice. This town does need justice. And at the minute, the campaign was called Justice for Ellie. I've set up justiceforbarrow.com and I want to continue following this story, continue investigating what's happening in this town. But this is just an update for me to give you what I found so far. Now, I had images, photos of all the Muslim men who have been accused of these crimes by multiple victims. Having met ten, two men and heard from them how their lives have been totally destroyed with false allegations, I think it would be totally irresponsible for me to share those images in this story. Yes, I'm the 